I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many. Sometimes everything seems to be against you. Everything, everything, everything. At your workplace, people are gossiping about you in your family. Your own spouse is turning against you. Your friends are turning against you. Your, your relatives are turning against you. Everybody is against me. Oh God, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Everything is against me. Everything is against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. Many are saying many your husband your wife your children your friend many 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 people are saying and are speaking that god will never rescue you from this problem this current problem you are going through god will never rescue you so many are saying god will never rescue him have you come to the place whereby people say with all these prayers with all these prayers when now talk will your god cause you to marry with all this prayers when i thought god will give you a job with all this prayers and fasting when i thought would you see your miracle with all this prayers when i thought will you have your testimony with all this prayers when are you going to pass these exams when are you going to finish the school your god will never rescue you from this problem hey my brothers and sisters this is heavy you have so many enemies and your enemies are saying god will never rescue you you will never be healed of this sickness you will never come out of this problem you will never be able to marry you will never be able to fulfill your destiny you will never be able to have peace many are my enemies and they are saying things they are saying they are gossiping that my god will never oh god they said you will never go because with all this you, you just finished one week prayers one week fasting and prayers how come your god has not rescued you you just finished a one week fasting how come god has never given you a miracle your breakthrough how come you have not received the job how come your husband is not back home how come your marriage is not restored how come you are not pregnant how come you have not passed the exams how come the court case it seems to be working against you your enemies are saying that even your own god will never rescue you this church you have been going to church giving a titan and all that you are wasting your time your god will never rescue you oh god many are my enemies and they have the audacity to also say that my god the god of abraham isaac will never rescue me is that your story today but i just came to tell you do not be troubled do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord god almighty will silence your enemies the lord will put your enemies to shame then he goes on he goes on but you oh lord ah, i like it this is where this is where i'm coming this is where the whole ball game turns around this is where the change happens but you oh lord before he said but you he says many are my enemies many are my enemies and they are saying things and the things they are saying it is true I am not married. I am still sick. I'm still unemployed. I don't have money. I am still in debt. I can't pay the <laughs> Whatever they are saying is true. And they are saying God will never rescue me. And it seems as though my God has given up on me. In fact, Jesus came to that place where, whereby he felt as though the Lord God will never read rescue him and that's why he cried out to see eli eli lamat sabat tani my god my god why have thou forsaken me jesus even felt it jesus himself felt it at a point in his life that his heavenly father had forsaken him has neglected him dejected him rejected him and therefore he cried eli eli my god my god how why have thou forsaken me and then people were saying like they said here god will never rescue he says that if you were helping others how come you cannot help yourself if you were healing others and delivering up this how come you're not helping yourself and how come your god is not coming to help you you become a laughing stock a mockery a byword a gossip talking point people's when you pass by at your workplace then people begin to gossip and yes, so you always carry your Bible, telling them you are going to church, telling them you have church programs, telling them how Jesus, and they are saying that your God is not able to rescue you. After saying God, 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 at the end of the month, you are still borrowing money from us, we unbelievers. 
we with you saying god 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 every day you are the one being a bridesmaid when at all are you going to get married we to get this god 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 the last time you took the exams you failed again you are mockery so many are saying god will never if i didn't say god will not rescue god will never <laughs> and people are wicked god will never rescue him never meaning your situation remains permanent but who is he that speaketh and it comes to pass when the Lord hath not spoken? Who are they to tell you that God will never? Who, who, who told them to say it? Who told them? It is only the counsel of God that will stand. So today I came to encourage you. Do not take in. Some of us, we have taken in these negative words from our enemies. And we are depressed. We are discouraged. We feel hopeless. These negative dreams that we have had is discouraging us. But then David builds up his faith in the Most High God. But you, O oh Lord, you are my shield. You are a shield around me. You are a shield around me. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. But you, O oh Lord, many are my enemies and many are the things they are saying. But you, but you, I, I don't fix my eyes on them. I don't listen to them. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. Do you know why he's talking about shield? Because the Bible says that through our faith, which is our shield, we can quench all the fiery that of the enemy so even though many were his enemies arrows they were speaking and projecting into his life um, david is saying that but the lord god almighty is my ship and he's around me and therefore it doesn't matter what they are saying and how many enemies are around me they cannot touch me they cannot destroy me they, their evil opinions and expectation and predictions about me will never happen because you oh lord are a shield around me you are a shield you are my shield lord you are my shield so the witches will not succeed you are a shield so the demons will not succeed you are a shield so the evil authors will not succeed you are a shield around me so the negative opinions of men about my present condition will never happen because you are a shield around me whatever they are saying will only hit me and fall off it will not touch me because you are a shield you are my shield you are my shield no matter their arrows that they have released their fiery dance they have they have released it cannot touch me their negative predictions and expectations will never manifest because the lord god almighty is a shield around me many are my enemies and many are the things they are saying against me gossiping about me lying against me against me conspiring against me but the lord god almighty is my shield he's a shield around me he's a shield around me and for that that reason i'm able to quench all the fiery that you are my glory you are my glory and the one who holds up my head the lift up Let of the my fire head. of god consume into ashes every demon and witchcraft spirit influencing my spouse to divorce or be separated from me catch fire and die in the name of jesus let the fire of god locate and consume any persons or demonic spirit working behind the scenes to destroy my marriage in the name of jesus every spells and charms controlling me to destroy my marriage break by fire now in the name of jesus amen i command every witchcraft spirit controlling my spouse mind to destroy our marriage to catch fire and be destroyed in the name of jesus let the fire of god consume and destroy the spirit of lust pornography masturbation and all sexual immorality controlling my spouse in the name of jesus i command the fire of god to consume and destroy the spirit of adultery controlling my life in the name of jesus every bad advice given to my spouse by friends and relatives let it be consumed by fire in the name of jesus anyone who has ungodly soul tie with my spouse let it be consumed and destroyed by fire of god in the name of jesus i destroy by fire of god every witchcraft spirit controlling and manipulated my spouse's actions and behavior to destroy our marriage in the name of jesus catch fire and burn into ashes in the name of jesus amen i release the hot burning wind of fire to drive out from my spouse's life bad friends and relatives in the name of jesus i released a hot sulfur fire to drive out from my spouse's life every strange woman he is having an affair with in the name
name of Jesus. Any agent of darkness responsible for my marital problems catch fire and perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every strange woman interfering with my marriage, let fire burn you and drive you out from my marriage in the name of Jesus. I command the hot burning wind of God to keep the strange woman far away from my husband in the name of Jesus. If she ever comes close to him, let the fire of God burn her and keep her out in the name of Jesus. All witchcraft charms and spells that have been done to my husband to steal his mind and his love from me, I command the all-consuming fire of God to burn them into ashes today in the name of Jesus. This book is an emergency marriage book to help you rescue your marriage from the spirit of divorce and separation. It contains urgent prayers and biblical wisdom used to reverse the course of divorce and separation in your marriage. This book will teach you how to fight aggressively through fasting, prayers, and the Word of God to shut the gate of divorce and separation and prevent it from destroying your marriage and family. Before you give up on your marriage, read this book and see if God, through the help of the Holy Spirit, will not turn your situations around for the better in your marriage and family. Your marriage shall be restored speedily in Jesus' name. Have faith in God. You may download this book in digital ebook format or physical copy from our website at www.freshfireprayer.com or from our Facebook page. You may also join us on the prayer line Tuesdays 10 p.m. Eastern Time and Fridays 11 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join in by calling 563-999-3626 or dial 641-715-3655. The access number is 950-014-POUND. Or you may listen live by Facebook. Just search Cave Watching. Join us on internet radio at our Blog Talk Radio at www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku dash bwache. That's www.blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash B O A C H I E. If you're in Europe, join us on our prayer line live by visiting our Blog Talk Radio site at www.blogtalkradio.com slash K W A K U dash B O A C H I E or visit our Facebook page. If you're in London, the time is 3 a.m. Wednesdays and 4 a.m. Saturdays. Europe it is 4 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 5 a.m. If you're in the area, you may visit our Sunday service from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The location is at County Road Shopping Center, 1948 County Road, District Heights, Maryland, 20747. You may also join us on the prayer line Tuesdays 10 p.m. Eastern Time and Fridays 11 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join in by calling 563 999-3626 or dial 641-715-3655. The access number is 950-014-POUND or you may listen live by Facebook. Just search Cave Watching. Join us on internet radio at our Blog Talk Radio at www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku dash Watche. That's www.blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash boachie. If you're in Europe, join us on our prayer line live by visiting our Blog Talk Radio site at www.blogtalkradio.com slash kwaku dash boachie or visit our Facebook page. If you're in London, the time is 3 a.m. Wednesdays and 4 a.m. Saturdays. Europe, it is 4 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 5 a.m. If you're in the area, you may visit our Sunday service from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. The location is at County Road Shopping Center, 1948 County Road, District Heights, Maryland, 20747.